the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Today is Labor Day, and so beside the intentions of the Mass today, we pray for all workers. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call into mind our sins. You came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You're seated at the right hand of the Father and intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, creator of all things, who have commanded the human race to bear the burden of labor, grant that the work we are beginning may bring progress in this life, and by your favor, advance the spread of the kingdom of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, it is widely reported that there is immorality among you, an immorality of a kind not found even among pagans, a man living with his father's wife. Are you inflated with pride? Should you not rather have been sorrowful? The one who did this deed should be expelled from your midst. I, for my part, although absent in body, but present in spirit, have already, as if present, pronounced judgment on the one who has committed this deed in the name of our Lord Jesus. When you have gathered together and I am with you in spirit, with the power of the Lord Jesus, you are to deliver this man to Satan for the destruction of his flesh, so that his spirit may be saved on the day of the Lord. Your boasting is not appropriate. Do you not know that a little yeast leavens all the dough? Clear out the old yeast so that you may become a fresh batch of dough inasmuch as you are unleavened. For our Paschal Lamb, Christ, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The word of the Lord. Lead me in your justice, Lord, Lead me in your justice, Lord. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. You hate all evildoers. Lead me in your justice, Lord. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. Lead me in your justice, Lord. But let all who take refuge in you be glad and exult forever. Protect them, that you may be the joy of those who love your name. Leave me in your justice, Lord. Please rise for the gospel acclamation. <clears throat> Alleluia. 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 My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. On a certain Sabbath, Jesus went into the syn synagogue and taught. And there was a man there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and Pharisee watched him closely to see if he would cure on the Sabbath so that they might discover a reason to accuse him. But he realized their intention and said to the man with the withered hand, come up and stand before me. And he rose and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, 
to save life rather than to destroy it. Looking around at them all, he then said to him, stretch out your hand. He did so, and his hand was restored. But they became enraged and discussed together what they might do to Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So the first miracle of the day is that uh, I was able to wake up in time for this Mass. <laughs> As many of you know and have noticed, I, uh, I don't usually come to this Mass. It's, it's a bit early for me. And Father and I had a moment to reminisce. And I, when I saw him yesterday, I was overjoyed to see him. It's been over three years. And we had a chance to discuss all the things that happened. You know, over the past three years, we, of course, had the pandemic. Father was in Italy, and we, of course, all suffered here also. And uh, we noted that a, a bunch of our parish family members weren't with us any longer. And in the end, when we think about it, we're all we have to look to, to lean on, to pray for. And in the first gospel reading, we hear some pretty tough words coming out of St. Paul. He notices that some members of the community haven't been acting correctly. Now, if St. Paul showed up in your community, that was a problem. <laughs> he would look to make certain that the community supported each other, but not just financially. They needed to support each other morally, emotionally. And as we all know, we've seen the world change over these past few years. Things seem to have gotten worse and in some ways better. More people have been drawn to God as they see things happening in society that are worrisome. And as much as I'd like to think that we're living in the most dangerous or changing times, I'm sure back then it was equally, if not more dangerous, to live. So who do we admonish? Who do we look to? Where do we get our support? I would say that there's also the same kind of courage required today that existed years ago. It's a lot easier for us to sit back and watch things happen. When we see something wrong, our children, our grandchildren, someone we know, someone we love, doing something that's harmful. Well, St. Paul himself gives some pretty radical, you know, cures for that. But I think mostly what's intended is to save the spirit of the person. And today, I think the greatest thing that challenges our, our young people is that their spirits aren't in the kind of shape they should be. I do attend quite a few funeral masses to assist. And I can tell you one of the greatest harmful things happening to our young people is nihilism, a belief in nothing, a loss of hope. We can't allow ourselves to sit idly by and watch this happen. It's been three years, and in just three years, there have been so many, so many things that have happened, tragic things that have happened. And there also have been some wonderful things that happened. I'm here today because my friend showed up after three years, and of course, to pray with each of us. So in life, we make little sacrifices. But we have to muster our courage also. It's a sacrifice not to go with the crowd. It's a sacrifice to stand out and say, this is wrong, don't do this. Not because it may harm me, but because it harms the spirit of those that do it as much as those it affects negatively. So today, I would ask that on Labor Day, 
which I guess is a misnomer. Not most of us are working, right? <laughs> many that don't want to <laughs> and many that are taking a rest. But that we prayed, that we prayed for our young people and for ourselves to have the courage to guide them, to love them as Jesus asked us, you know, as Jesus commanded us to do, guide them. Love them and bring them toward the light. This is what we were baptized to do. This is what we were ordered to do. Let us pray. With confidence in God's goodness, let us offer our prayers this day. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, 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 Lord. For the Holy Father, may God continue to strengthen him and grant him wisdom as he guides, guides the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. The leaders of nations and those who make political and military decisions. May the Prince of Peace guide them in the way of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those hearts that are burdened by sin and who struggle to trust in God's mercy and forgiveness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all gathered in this holy place, May God deepen our faith as we grow in love and faithful service to him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For our beloved dead who trust Jesus in this life, may they join the angels and saints in enjoying everlasting life in paradise with him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for all our special intentions, we ask God to humbly look upon our petitions and give us the hope and security that all that have are alive and deceased be with him. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Lord God, you know our needs before we ask. Praise here and answer the prayers we offer you this day according to your holy will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. <laughs> Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who in the offerings presented here nourish the human race with food and renew it with your sacrament, grant we pray that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your heart. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
and consider right and just our beauty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for you lay the foundation of the world and i have arranged the changing of times and season you form man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonders to rule in your name over all you have made and for every praise in you your mighty works through christ our lord Amen. and so with the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim holy 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 heaven and earth are full of your glory you are in the holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, gifts, this gift we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and enter willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it, for this is, my, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of faith, death, and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters in a special way, Helen Chitrano, Kathleen F. O'Brien, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our oh, Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and we forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, 
as we are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who so said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us all for each other a sign. <coughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of this table of unity and charity, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that through the work you have given us to do, we may sustain our life on earth and trustingly build up your kingdom. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Happy Labor Day to you all. Thank you.
God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with.